Hi, Tiny Scholars. I'm Jaden. I'm the owner of Jaden's Craft Shack, and Marissa wanted some help on making slime. So I'm here to make this video on teach you guys how to make slime. So let's get into it. So the first thing, this is how I make slime. So the first thing that you're going to need is borax. You can use like detergent, like Tide, um, but I like borax so it doesn't have a scent or a color in it. So you're going to need one cup of water, warm water. It's better if it's warm so it can dissolve easily. And you can put that into a cup. And then a teaspoon of the borax. Just, and then put it in. And then you're gonna mix it until it's dissolved. Make sure it's completely dissolved and it, there's like no powder left. This is the borax all dissolved in the water. It looks like normal water, but don't drink it. It's not water. Um, it should look like that before you do anything else. So the next step is you need Elmer's glue. You don't have to have a big bottle like this. You can use a small one, doesn't matter. As long as it's uh, just school glue. It doesn't have to be the Elmer's brand, but I like that one the best. So there's no measurement. However much slime you want to make, you use the glue. But I'm going to use like... Just a little bit. I don't want to make too much right now. And so, just gonna let that, pour that in your bowl. And then, after that, you can make slime just like that, just this in the borax. But I want to make it kind of fun. And so, I have all these cool colors here. You can use paint, you can use the watercolors. These are like watercolor, liquid watercolors. Um, you can use food coloring. So most people have food coloring already in their house. So I'm just going to use that, like something like this, like small little bottles. So I want to make it blue. So I'm going to use this little thing. I'm going to put about like three drops, however like dark or light you want it, you can put. It's just for fun. It doesn't have to be two measurements or whatever. And then, so you can use any colors that you want. And then this is something that most people have, but I have is that I want to show you. These are like scented oil, candle oils that you can add into the slimes. So like I have literally such cool scents. I have monkey farts, hot chocolate, um, dreamsicle, cotton candy. I have so many scents and they smell so, so good. Vanilla ice cream. But to match the blue, I'm going to do blue raspberry slushy. It smells so good. It smells like blue raspberry like... When you go to the movie theater and you have like an icy, so I'm just gonna put like a cap full of that. If you have like um just like anything like that, you can add it in. It's just for smell, it's for fun. But um, so yeah, so after that you're just gonna mix it in and then it's gonna turn blue. It's gonna smell so good. And you just fully mix that in until once it's fully mixed in, I'll show you what to do next. So you can see. It's, this is so much fun. And it's so quick and easy. You don't need a lot of things to make this. Like a lot of ingredients. It's literally just two ingredients. And then whatever you want to do. And there's so many different things you can do with slime. There's You can add clay. You can add glitter. You can do it with clear glue. You don't have to do it, even do it with white glue. It can be clear glue. Literally anything you want. You can make your own stuff. You just be creative with it. So yeah. So basically, it's pretty much all mixed in. Like the color is very, very mixed in. And it smells so, so good. It smells just like blue raspberry slushy or like blue raspberry candies. Like Jolly Ranchers or whatever. They're so good. Everybody, whenever somebody smells like my scents that I have, somebody always smells something different. Like it always smells different for people, but... It, they're so good so yeah and i have like hundreds so after that you're gonna you have your borax and you're gonna add very little bits at a time just put a couple of drops mix 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 add some more mix 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 the key of like slime like out of anything is just mixing 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 it's gonna be that's probably gonna be the annoying part of like making this just... okay so i'm back um i just put it into this like I don't know what it's called, but like a, a dropper thing container. And um, you don't have to, but it's just gonna be easier to put drops into the slime so I won't overdo it. So you're, again, like I said, just a couple drops, a little bit, and then you're just gonna mix. So you're just gonna mix. It's, it's gonna look like 
a lot of people say it looks like grandma skin or like old people's skin like it's gonna look really wrinkly and gross but yeah so um you're just gonna keep mixing and especially if you're making a little amount of slime add a little bit of borax or whatever if you're making a bigger amount of slime you can add more eventually like at a time you're just gonna mix 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 and so yeah you're just gonna keep doing that until you'll start to see when I do it, or if you're making it with me, you're going to start to see that the, like, slime is going to start to come, like, together and, like, stick to itself and not stick to the sides of the bowl anymore. It's already starting to do that. So just remember, take your time, be patient, don't rush it, because then it might, if you add too much of the borax and not mix enough, it's going to turn into, like, a rubber ball. It's going to be way too hard. It's not going to be fun and stretchy like slime. So it's almost ready. I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more. So I was mixing for about five minutes, and now this is where you want to be. Hopefully, it's where the slime isn't completely, like, it's still sticky, but it's not completely, like, like watery. Like, it's, it's sticking off the sides of the bowl, and it's, like, like getting really hard to mix. So here, I'll show you a little bit. It's like, you can definitely tell it came together and it's kind of like coming off my like spatula. So this is like the fun part, but also the messy part. You're just gonna go in with your hands. You're just gonna try and scoop as much as you can and you're just gonna knead it like this. And you might need some help. You might need to add a little bit more borax, but you're just gonna knead it like this and like stretch it. And there's like, when you do this, you're going to feel like these strings. You just want to like kind of pull those out. And so, yeah, those out. And so, yeah, so so I went back and I added like some more borax to my hands and the slime and look at it. it's not sticking to my hands anymore. And so basically, yeah, so the last pretty much step, like, before you're done is, like, you want to go back in with your, like, spatula or your spoon, whatever that you mix it with. And you can literally just tap the slime on, like, whatever you mix it with in your bowl, and the slime will, like, pick it up off the, and you can, like, clean it up so you don't have as much of a mess on it. And, okay, I'll show you in a second how clean I can get it. And so you just want to like keep like like tapping it on the sides of the bowl, making it look like I didn't even make slime. Everybody thinks that slime is so messy, but like as long as you just follow these steps, it's not that messy. So look, the bowl looks so clean. Still clean it after though, but um, it's so clean and then... There's no mess. And so I'm going to show you some cool tricks you can do with the slime. Um, so you can do a bubble. Is where you just pull the slime, make a pancake, pull it, and like, yeah, I'll show you guys. So you make a pancake kind of like this. And then you're going to pull the side facing you. And you're going to like flip it over and it makes a cool bubble. That's one trick. That one's a hard one though, so you might not get it. You just keep practicing. And then I can show you a swirl. This one, a lot of people, this one's a little bit easier. So basically you just take your hands like this, like little claws, and you're gonna grab the slime on the sides of it like this and pull it, bring it together, pull it, bring it together, kind of quickly, gotta be a little quick. And then it's gonna get these like lines on it. And then once you're ready with it, you put it on your table and swirl it around itself. You got like a cool swirl and then you can squeeze it and it makes all these cool bubble pops and it's like so much fun. So yeah, look how cool that was. It's so much fun. So I hope you guys had fun making slime with me. I did. And I hope you make a bunch of different slimes with different colors and different and if, if you have scents use all the scents it's so much fun i love making slime this is the best thing and be creative add stuff in it glitter clay oh there's so many things you can add